So news has come in about Apple's pricing for their upcoming subscription service and it's not looking good. Let's jump into it. So let's just get things out in the open. It could start at $35 a month, which yeah, isn't horrible on the face of it, but there's a lot more to it. Now, looking into the future, if you haven't heard, Apple are thinking of starting their own hardware subscription services coming for customers to get iPhones and other devices for a monthly fee instead of paying outright. We found out how much it might cost. See, the scheme, it said, will enable people to split the cost of their latest hardware over, you know, 12, 24, even 36 months. And once the contract term is up, you even swap it in for the latest model. Sounds great. But does it? You see, over here in the UK, and I'm sure in other places as well, mobile providers, they already offer a similar sort of deal where the actual price of the handset is cut down because you're paying for minutes and then more data, data nowadays, more than minutes on text, it's Jesus. But at the end of it, you do have some services which will allow you to trade it in and then upgrade to a later model. And you know, you pay a premium for this service. But with Apple's offering, you are still gonna need to pay for calls and data in minutes. So yes, you can get a SIM only, but is it gonna be better? Now over here in the UK, I won't be going for it because I, I mean, I do like a SIM free option, but I have for the same phone now for three years. And I know many people who don't upgrade their phones every year. This is going to encourage you to upgrade your phone at the end, because why would you not? You're on the contract, you're playing. See, I'm already gone for a SIM free, but I would have to be paying whatever it is, 30, 40 dollars a month, 30, 40 pounds a month, because you know, we're not going to get a discount over here for it on top of our like, data and our texts and our minutes is crazy. Will it work out cheaper? I don't think so. Cause you're essentially loaning it. And at the end, you're giving it back. Usually at the end of your contract over here, at least, and I'm sure in other places as well, you own, you own this phone, not in Apple's model, but currently you own your phone. So that means at the end you can upgrade if you want, or you can sell it. And one great thing about Apple's products is that for the most part, they hold their value over the years. So it means at the end of this two years, if you do want to sell it, you often get a nice price for it. In Apple's model, that goes back. So looking at the expert who recently broke this, Mark Gurman, and if you don't know Mark Gurman, he is one of the most trusted sources that you can for upcoming Apple news. Now, to quote him, he said, I'll use the starting prices for the iPhone 13, the Pro and the Pro Max, that's $799, $999 and $1,099. And pick monthly price points of $35, $45 and $50 as examples. I chose those levels because they undercut the pricing of the old iPhone upgrade program by a few dollars. Now here's how much Apple would generate over three years from no monthly subscription compared with the upfront price. iPhone 13 at $35 a month, that's $1,260 over three years instead of just 800. The iPhone 13 Pro, 45 pounds a month, that's, that's 1,620 instead of 999. And the iPhone 13 Pro Max, that's $50 a month, that's 1,800 instead of 1,099. Now figures right now are just speculation. However, it's not in the areas of possibility. And when you see the sort of money that we are talking about, it's not surprising. You take little, you take less upfront, but more overall. Now, usually companies don't like this. They like to have all the money straight away but they will trade it in if they get more money down the road. That's for damn sure. All of this has me thinking, who is this Apple subscription service even for? Well, it's for people that can't afford to pay the 900, the 1200, whatever it is outright. So instead they break it down and do monthly payments, but in the end it works out worse and you'll be paying more. So my advice, stay away, stay away from any of these sort of deals. All of these deals, they're always worth in the long term. If you can't afford to pay for it straight away, maybe you should wait. Anyway, that's why I say. I'll be back next time. Good. Bye.